Hello and welcome to this short video about the civil courts, the track system and appeals in civil cases. So we're going to start by talking about which courts actually hear civil claims. And when we're talking about this, it's important that you're clear about the differences between civil and criminal law. So civil law is everything that isn't crime and it has differences, as you'll remember, from induction. So when we're talking about the purpose of the civil law, it's about upholding the rights of individuals and of of businesses and it's a case brought by the claimant against the defendant which they are trying to establish whether they would get a remedy such as the payment of damages and the outcome is that the defendant is found to be liable or not liable. So the civil courts deal with all issues of civil law that are not dealt with by a tribunal. If the claim comes within a tribunal's remit, such as employment or immigration, then it must be heard by the tribunal. So the main examples we're thinking about probably for our purposes is contract and particularly for us negligence, which is covered in the A-level in paper two. So the courts of first instance are the county and high court and the appeal courts are the High Court Divisional Courts, the Court of Appeal and the Supreme Court. So the way you determine which court hears which case is using the three track system and you can see here the three tracks. There's a small claims track which is for cases where the claim is worth up to £10,000 or £1,000 if it's a personal injury case. The fast track worth um, 10,000 to 25,000 and that's a thousand to 25,000 for personal injury and the multi-track is for all cases worth over 25,000 pounds. So once you have allocated to the track you'll be able to see which court you're going to be in. So the small claims track if you're on that track your claim is for worth less than 10,000 pounds or a thousand for personal injury you're going to be in the small claims court which is part of the county court and your claim will be heard by a district judge, that's an inferior judge, um, the lowest one that we're looking at. Um, the judge will actually be quite involved in a small claims case, um, he'll ask questions. Uh, the hearing tends to be no more than four hours, it's um, quite short. Uh, it's a very informal procedure, uh, the parties don't tend to have lawyers, they are unrepresented. And no costs will be awarded, so even if you lose in the small claims court, you do not have to pay the costs of the other side. So the next track up is the fast track, and we saw that that was for claims between 10 and 25,000 or 1 and 25 for personal injury. This sort of case will be heard in the county court by a district or a circuit judge who's the other type of inferior judge. And it has a slightly more formal procedure than small claims. The hearing is limited to a day and the cases are meant to be heard within 30 weeks. And lastly, you have the multi-track and these are the uh, more serious cases for more money over £25,000. And they're usually heard by a circuit judge in the county court or a high court judge in the high court. So in personal injury cases, if the amount claimed is £50,000 or less, you have to start your case in the county court and have it heard there. In all other cases, the limit is £100,000. So the high court will judge in the high court will only hear claims if they're for more than £50,000 for personal injury and £100,000 for all other cases. So you can have cases on the multi-track that are either heard in the county court or they're heard in the high court depending on the amount and it's only the higher value claims that are actually heard in the high court. And the emphasis in these multi-track cases is on case management by the judge and that will encourage the use of things like the pre-action protocols where parties are encouraged to give their documents to the other side early to encourage negotiation and ultimately settlement. So the last thing we need to consider is if you've had your case heard and in one of these courts and you're not happy with the decision, how can you appeal? So the appeal route is slightly different to criminal cases because in criminal it goes from court to court. But in civil, for small and fast track claims, it depends which judge originally heard your case. 
So if you had a claim in the county court on either the small claims or the fast track and your case was heard by a district judge, then this will be dealt with differently um, to cases originally heard by a circuit judge. So if the case was heard by a district judge, your appeal goes to a circuit judge in the same court. And if your case was heard by a circuit judge, then it will go to a high court judge. And as we know, usually you have two appeals. So the second appeal, if it is an important point of principle or law and you get leave or permission to appeal, goes straight to the court of appeal. And that is also the court that will hear any multi-track cases that have been heard in the county court. So if you um, have had a claim heard in the county court on the multi-track, so it was for over £25,000, then your first appeal is to the court of appeal. And then from there, your second appeal is to the Supreme Court, again, on an important point of law with leave. And if you are appealing from the High Court, so you've had a multi-track case heard in the High Court, then your appeal route is straightforward because on the multi-track it doesn't depend which judge heard it. You will go to the Court of Appeal Civil Division and then from there your further appeal will go up to the Supreme Court. And there's also the Leapfrog Appeal, which as the name suggests, leapfrogs over the Court of Appeal straight from the High Court to the Supreme Court if it's an important point and you get permission. So mainly you're going to be looking at either multiple choice questions or five mark questions on the civil courts. And remember that for five marks you'll be asked to explain which is really AO1 stating facts uh, rather than assessing which is AO3 which is giving advantages and disadvantages of a certain legal point. So three types of question. If you have to explain the civil courts, you're being asked about the court hierarchy and you'll explain that there are two courts of first instance, the county, which includes the small claims and the high, that which court you're in depends on the tracks and then you could explain them and that appeal courts are the Court of Appeal and Supreme Court. You could mention um, the High Court Divisional Courts as well there. If you had to explain allocation of cases, that they're asking you how you allocate, how you decide which court hears what, that's the track system. And you will explain the small claims, the fast track and the multi-track and put in the limits. Um, and if at all possible, the last point there in square brackets about whether you start in the county or high court. And then lastly, if you're asked about appeals, then you will be talking about the track system because you need to know which track you're on to know how the appeal works. Because if you're on the small or fast track, then you go from judge to judge. And if you're not, if you're on the multi-track, you go to the court of appeal and you can make a leapfrog appeal from the High Court to the Supreme Court. So I hope that that's been a useful summary of civil courts, the track system and appeals. Thank you.